Blind Date with John Lennon. John Lennon reviews the singles of December 1964. Is it the shadows? You can tell them a mile off. There are a couple of good bits. I think this is quite nice. It's just like the ones they used to make. All we want now is for the strings to come in. It's the sound they used to get and this is much better than all that rhythm and onion stuff. This is competent. That's not Susan Morn, is it? Oh, I don't like her voice at all. I didn't even like that great big hit Bobby's Girl. You can take it off and put that down as well. She seems nice and all that, but I don't reckon her voice. A good looking bird, but I It's a Tamla. I reckon it's the same arrangement as one of Marvin Gaye's. In fact, to me, it sounds like pride and joy upside down. It sounds like it was done at the same session. Oh, isn't this Marvin Gaye and Kim Weston? Even though we are quoted as liking everything from Tamla, this is too ordinary to me. We'll have that off. I've got that about 800 times in various LP versions. You're gonna wreck my life. British. It's not yeah. one of those Irish mobs, is it? It's a drag unless something happens soon. No, as Andrew Oldham would say, it doesn't turn me on. It's not Soup Money or Spencer Davis or any of that mob, is it? It's a drag anyway. Turn it off. I could easily fall in love with you. Cliff. I can't believe it. He seems to have a record out every day. Well, it's not as good as One Way Pendulum. Yeah, it's too smooth. It should do well in France. It sounds a bit country. Is country the new fave rave? I don't know what to say really. Okay, good night Cliff, that's enough. I think it should help the pantomime along. His records are too Christian for me, but he's a good lad and his mother should be proud of him. Oh, it's great. I love him. Fats. This won't be a hit, especially with that sax bit. But I'd listen to it all night at a party because you know it's fats and you don't really listen. It just goes on and on in the background, and it's nice like that. That's the reason why people don't buy his singles, he's making the wrong kind of songs now. Anyway, I'll keep that one if I can. Sounds like a Christmas offering. Oh, that's old Millie. I mean, young Millie. I mean, middle of the road Millie. I don't really like it. I suppose that if she jumps around with it on the telly it might be a hit. I'd like to hear this in the middle of summer. But anyway, her mum should be proud of her. All the chapel bells were ringing. Was a great day in his life. I'd sooner have it by the French ones. Yeah, that's right. It's Pat Boone. Oh, it's Brian Poole. I thought you said it was Pat Boone. Oh well, Brian Poole. Yeah, another one who knocked us off the top of the hit parade. His mother should be proud of him as well. It will probably be a hit. Get it off. Even though you hurt me. Is it Jackie Wilson? No, it's George's favorite, Timmy Euro. Won't be a hit. Why is this being reissued? Has she died or something? I'd like to die and see how many hits we got extra, and then come back and claim the money. This isn't a hit but I quite like it. I'd never buy it because I can hear it any time at George's place. I don't buy many records these days. I've just got the Hollies, Manfred Mann, and Animals LPs. I got them for free. And the Animals is the only good one among them. No, there never was a clown like me. It's not Frankie I feel, is it? No, it's Shirley Bassey. Well, as far as the words are concerned, anything to do with clowns is written by Newell and Brickus. Although I've had clowns in I'm a Loser, and I'm no Brickus by a long kick. You can take it off. I hate this song. Is it Buddy Greco? He's laughing isn't he? I suppose you've got to laugh to make it different from all the other versions. I don't mind Buddy Greco but I'd never buy it. These singers all sound the same to us. Which is the same thing people say about us lot. It's the same old arrangement. And they go on and on. Everyone falls down on the ground saying how great they are. 
and then, nobody buys it. Ah well, they'll write on the back page of the Melody Maker having a go at me for saying all these things. I suppose I'd better get a new middle of the road image. Tell all the people who are going to write to the back page, to drop dead before they even start writing. Everywhere the sound of Christmas calling. No, it's that Christmas crap again. I'm not even going to guess who it is. Get it off.